Welcome to Great Neighborhood Cooks. I'm your host, Rob Kircher. Each week, I'm going to be knocking on the doors of amazing cooks who live down the street or around the corner. Who knows, maybe from your own neighborhood. For the most part, they're unsung cooks known mainly to their family and friends. Or they might be cooks from that great little hideaway restaurant that we love to discover. Either way, the relative obscurity is about to change as I bring them into the spotlight. So who will be the next discovered Great Neighborhood Cook? Well, stay tuned to find out. So who would be the next discovered great neighborhood cook? Well, we're here at the Cape Coral Yacht Club, and we're going to be catching up with a family of four who live aboard this amazing 38-foot boat. Uh, they have a five-year-old and a four-year-old daughter, and they all live in this amazing place. But you know what? They don't have a door, so I'm going to have to yell, Ahoy! Hey, Rob, <laughs> Ray, how are you, bud? I've been waiting for you. Oh, well, thank you. How do I get on this thing? It's easy. <laughs> so one step here, come back one step. Perfect, yeah. I can do that, I can do that. Okay, come in, come in. there we go. Uh, Wonderful. I love yeah, it. Like a pro. Oh, <laughs> and this is your wife, huh? This is my beautiful wife, um, Alejandra. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Pleasure. And this is my, my daughter, uh, Martina. How are you? And Chantal, oh, she I is my Chantal. youngest one. So all four of you obviously live on this boat, right? Correct. And uh, is, it, is it too small? Is it roomy? I mean, how do you get used to all this? Oddly enough, doesn't feel too small. No? Uh, yes, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just a mindset of change. You have to, you have to change your mindset yeah. when you move in, into a boat. If I were living here wanting this space of a house, then yes, it will, it will feel small. Yeah. But we are here, here living within the space of the boat, so doesn't feel small. Wonderful. Well, I want to talk more about this, but let's go in and we'll start talking about uh, what you're actually going to prepare for us, okay? Perfect. Great. So, life on a boat. Now, you call this a boat or you call this a yacht? We call this a boat. It's a boat. Yeah, boat. <laughs> and how long is your boat? This is a 38 foot. 38. Ship. Correct. And the beam is, is what? This is um, 13 foot wide. 13 foot wide. You know, it's very roomy in here. Correct. Right. And it's uh, very cozy. I like it. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Now, your kitchen is very condensed, right? So you have everything at your fingertips, right? Yes, correct. So um, you have, uh, you're obviously a sink, but mm -hmm. this is your stove, right? This is this is my little mighty stove. Okay. And uh, this is where a lot of oh, big, yeah. Three big cookie happens. It has an yeah. oven. Oven. And then this is my pantry. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I have everything I need, and below this uh, seats you have storage, and I also have uh, more um, cooking stuff. So since uh, living on a boat, uh, you have to be a minimalist. Yeah. <laughs> so we have two plates, one for me, one for my wife. And two little ones for your daughter. Oh, here, here's the daughter's place. Uh, right. My daughter's place. <laughs> I love it. Okay, uh, Ray, what are you going to be preparing for us? So today I, I, will, I will be preparing some um, spaghetti with lobster. So now, I got a uh, question. Uh, You're from Puerto Rico. Correct. Right? correct. Um, are you adding any kind of a Puerto Rican uh, flair to this, or? Of course, yeah. of course. I mean, it, I, I would say more of a Latin flavor to it. Latin flavor. Um, okay. it's, it's, it's like I tell my friends, this this would not be an authentic Italian plate. This will be an authentic gray plate. I'm curious. Uh, when you uh, dock here, you have use of power, right? Correct. Use power. Uh, you also probably have Wi-Fi for the TV and all that. Right? As a matter of fact, this is we. We work from here, so so this is also our office. This is your office. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. Okay, um, let's start preparing this wonderful dish here. Okay. So Ray, you're going to start with uh, making the broth, right? Correct. And what do you, how do you do that? So to um, so I, so I, with the broth first, I'm going to put some some olive oil. So while that's doing that thing, uh, let's uh, move on to the lobster. So where's your lobster? Okay. Well, wow, that's a big lobster tail, Ray. It is. This is a wow. pound, one pound lobster. Wow. All right. Looks like a... Now, how do you uh, actually prepare this? So the pan is already hot. Yeah. I'm going to put some lobster. The garlic. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. 
Now the garlic already smells amazing, right? So you just sweat it a little bit, right? Yep, correct. Okay. So now you add your veggies, right? So yeah, so now I'm adding my aunt, I'm adding the yep. veggies. Okay. Wow. Okay. Tomato paste. So you're you're a sailor, you're a businessman, but you're also a cook. Right. <laughs> now, do you do uh, most of the cooking, or does your wife do some of the cooking? Here at the house, I'm, I'm the I'm the head chef. You're, you're <laughs> <laughs> so, who's the bottle washer? Is she the she the bottle washer, or are you? The, I mean, we. I would say 50-50, but but she's the one that uh, will be doing the cleanup after. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Putting a cup of water. All right. And then I have some leftover seafood goodness from from yesterday. Oh. Which is I got some leftover broth. So oh, wonderful. So wow. so this has been developing it's like um it's been reduced, I can correct, see that. Correct. Oh, so it has wonderful. been developed nice. So self throwing away. I'm gonna add it here. Ooh. To add now that's a nice little to touch add, at the end. To add more flavor. And then the usual salt and pepper and yeah. just let it just let it There yeah, there you go. So I'm going to pull this out. That is a beautiful lobster tail. Wow, look at that. Look at this. Wonderful. Gorgeous. And this doesn't go to the trash can. This is going to go into this part. To the flavor of that. And this. Yeah. So we can get flavor out of this. So you just cut it up into uh, uh, little chunks. Yes, correct. I don't, I don't like to cut it into small, in small pieces because, because I want to be able to taste the lobster yeah. while, while, while yeah, I'm eating, eating the pasta. Otherwise, right, it's so, going to be... So bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces, yeah. correct. The pasta is ready, huh, right? Correct. Pasta is ready. It's always... This is al dente, correct? Correct. We like to keep some of this water. Oh, yeah. So again, you uh, you really have to be uh, cognizant of your space because you're going to strain this now. Correct. you got to make sure you get enough room to do all that, huh? Wow, look at that. Well done. Well done. The same pan. Yeah. Through it. Uh, so oh, now well. this time we put some olive oil. Okay. So you're going to strain it now just to get uh, any lobster shells that might be in there that gets out of it, right? Correct. Okay. So now I'm straining this, getting oh. all the... And uh, when do you take the boat out? Do you go out on weekends or something? Usually, when when the weather incorporates, yeah. yes, we we go out on the weekend. I mean, having this lifestyle, the first thing I do every morning is check the weather because Mother Nature might have another plan for you. Now, uh, I'm curious, what did you do like for Christmas, as an example? What did you do for that? For Christmas, I mean, it was the best Christmas so I'm um, ever. Um, we went up to Cayo Costa um, um, State Park. Yeah. And we anchored there, we spent three days out there, a oh. beautiful, beautiful place. Um, and that's where we spent Christmas, and that's where my daughters, they open other gifts. Here in the boat, I had a six foot tall and Christmas tree. You had a Christmas tree? Yes. Wow. Yes. So okay. I, it was quite interesting to see my daughters was open that, their gifts. Was that on the stern? Yes. To see them open their gifts in that type of a place, it was, oh. it was quite a treat. That would be fantastic. 
Well, your garlic is really coming along. Well, that's really interesting. So now you put the lobster in. Yeah, the lobster. Yeah, quick. A little salt and salt pepper. And huh? Pepper. Yeah. Wow, that is really smelling unbelievably good. This is almost done. Yeah. I mean, after well, this lemon well, use, yeah. I'm gonna add the. I'm here shortly. Gonna add the pasta. Very good. Oh, look at that! Wow. So of course we need to add. Oh yeah! Now comes the pasta water. The pasta water. In. Yeah. Some cilantro. More cilantro. I love it. And now the goodness of the sea. Uh, uh, the broth that um, that I prepared um, at the beginning. Yeah. Wonderful. Excuse me, Mama. Now what's the oh oh? A little cheese going on here. Yes. Now what kind of cheese is that, Ray? This is um, Asiago cheese. Asiago. I like okay. Parmesan, and I also like uh, like Asiago. The cheese will will help um, the Wonderful. broth stick to the pasta. Oh yeah. More. Wonderful. So we're ready to plate, huh? Correct. We're ready to plate. Uh, pasta wow. is, is good. Mm -hmm. This is your neighborhood, Correct. and. Um, do you ever have neighbors help you out doing things when uh, you may have a problem or something? Yes, uh, I mean, we have been um, very blessed uh, to be here. We have some great, great neighbors. I mean, the best neighbors you can ever ask. I can take that if you want. One time around midnight, we lost power last middle of summer. You know, I have two little ones, my heart sunk. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I go out to see if someone can, can help me because I didn't know what was wrong with my boat. So I went to this neighbor and I told him my situation. He didn't hesitate. He just grabbed his toolboxes, came, came, came to help me. I told him, hey man, I don't want to put you to work at this right. time. I just, just, I just want you just to point me to where I need, I need to look at. He said something that I will never forget. He said, boaters take care of boaters. Ah, uh, that's and, wonderful. Talking about wonderful, this absolutely looks amazing. Ray, I can't wait to dig into this thing. It looks absolutely amazing and it smells incredible. So um, why don't we serve a little wine here? Yes, we'll do of course. Toast. Well, Ray, I want to thank you for allowing us to come into your home, which is your wonderful floating boat, if you will. Yeah. Of course it's floating. Yeah. And um, uh, you are just a great host. And it's just fun to see how you and your family operate on a boat. So folks, to learn more about uh, our friend Ray, I want you to go to our website, which is www.greatneighborhoodcooks.com. And we're going to have a lot of uh, behind the scenes as we normally do. And uh, Ray's recipe, you can download. So, uh, Ray, let's uh, have a little toast here. Thank and you, and thanks for coming. You're welcome. Let's try your, try your wine. Oh, that's wonderful. That's perfect. But uh, I tell you, it all looks absolutely amazing. Oh, Ray. Flavors are amazing, man. I mean, they are incredible. Wonderful. I gotta tell you something, it's a wonderful meal. Thank you so much, congratulations. And I would call you a chef. Thank okay. you, appreciate that. All right. Hey, look, come on. <laughs> oh, the kids on the rocks again. Hey, you kids can't play here. Not fun. <laughs>I'm here in a famous kitchen by Ambiance showroom in Benita Springs, Florida, and I want you to meet my friend. This is Jim Gerard, who is the owner of this amazing, amazing design center. i got to tell you something. It's incredible. <laughs> good to see you, Rob. Thanks very much for stopping in. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to be here, my friend. You know, it always amazes me. Every time I come in here, it's always packed with people who are so anxious to see the latest in kitchen cabinetry design work. We've been busy, and they've come to the right place. We've got a lot to show them. We've got uh, six full-size kitchen displays here to show them. We've got price ranges from uh, beginning level all the way up to full custom cabinetry. A lot of different options. And that's what I like about what you do, because you really do fulfill folks' dreams, don't you? You bring it to life. We do, and it all starts with an in-home consultation, and we talk through with them what they like and don't like about their kitchen, and then from there on, it's problem solving. And uh, we lay everything out on the computer, and then we sit down and we go over with them in a lot of detail 
their design, their design options, and, and of course with their input, we guide them through the process. And that's one of your major, I guess, the reputations is you listen very closely and very carefully and you patiently create that dream kitchen. We do, and a lot of that is attributed to a staff. We've got a staff with uh, people that uh, have been in the business a long time. They're long in the tooth, and they're good at what they do. <laughs> and they've done it before. They've so done it before. We don't send someone, we don't send a rookie out to do a job, we, and that also goes for our installers. We've got guys that have been with this company for 28 years, and uh, so, that kind of experience really shows. Well, as they say, your reputation speaks for itself. So folks, if you want to have the kitchen of your dreams, and I mean the kitchen of your dreams, I want you to see my friend Jim Gerard. He's the proud owner of this amazing Kitchen by Ambiance Design Center. And I gotta tell you something, you can't go wrong. Thanks again, Rob. You're welcome. Anytime. At the Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant, they do things differently. They do it the authentic way. For example, why is their incredible bread and pastries the best you've ever tasted? Well, it's because they're made artfully and lovingly every day, using only the freshest ingredients possible. The same care and thoughtfulness goes into their freshly brewed, custom blended coffee. The Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant at the Promenade in Bonita Springs is the closest place to Little Italy in Southwest Florida. I've been suffering from hearing loss as long as I can remember. It used to be I couldn't hear people in crowded rooms. Now I can't hear people in any situation anywhere. That's severe. Finally, I decided to do something about it. And I went to Beltone 5 Star Hearing. If you're anything like Rob and you have to use your phone on speaker all the time, or you find yourself turning the volume up on the television, well, come see us. Uh, it may just be earwax and we can check that for you. If you're over 55, you should get your hearing check every year. We do this free here at Belton 5 Star Hearing. I've been in this industry since 1972 and uh, helping Rob was a, a wonderful thing. I wear the same hearing aids and I'm excited about how much they help me. Um, I, I have just a, a super high frequency loss, no low frequency, and I'm able to hear and understand my wife clearly. Um, it's, Is that a it's, good thing or a bad it's thing? A, about it? it's, a it's a good thing. thing. Okay. It's a good thing. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything my wife says to me, by the way. Uh, the other thing is, uh, of all the hearing aids I fit, Beltone is the best product ever. I started with Beltone in 1972. Uh, I've had 20 years with Beltone off and on over the years, and they are the, the leaders in the industry, and far none. You get service, and uh, there's 1,600 uh, facilities in the country, and there's a, a Beltone nearest you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call your local Beltone dealer for service. And that's what hearing aids are all about. They need service after you purchase them. And it's very, very easy to help you with this Bluetooth hearing devices from Beltone. And uh, he's lucky enough that he can just go on his phone. No one will know what he's doing. He can turn the volume up, turn the volume down, change to a different program. And guess what? If he loses the hearing devices, he can find them on that phone. So just come see us. It's, it's free just to have an evaluation. These hearing aids, that, uh, I just love them. I absolutely love them. This is the first in an ongoing series of Robin Ruth's Hidden Gems, and Ruth and I will be exploring all the amazing places that we discover throughout Southwest Florida, this being one of them. This is the historic Rod and Gun Club in Everglades City. And I gotta tell you something, this goes way back to what, the 18? 18... 1864. 1864. And we're also here for the Seafood Festival yes. that happens once a year here in Everglades City. And we're going to be going on to some amazing vendors and discovering all the incredible tidbits that are available here in Everglades City. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to try some stone crab claws, maybe some alligator nuggets. Ooh. We'll have to see. Uh, crawfish, one of my favorites. My mouth is already watering. Mine too. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Now Ruth and I are standing on this amazing veranda of the Rod and Gun Club 
And uh, it's so historic. Did you know that President Hoover actually uh, came here in the 30s when he was president and did a lot of fishing? He loved to fish. I wonder if he had the fried grouper sandwich here. <laughs> That's a good question. It is. Well, Ruth and I are going to head off now to the festival. We're going to discover hopefully a lot of other wonderful things, great stories we're going to be able to tell you. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's go. So Ruth, we're here at Florida's Finest Foods, and I gotta tell you okay. something, this looks fantastic. It what is. do we have here? Well, this is uh, a, a jambalaya. Is the jambalaya. And we have sausage, we have uh, chicken, we have uh, Cajun seasoning, uh, red, uh, red pepper, green pepper, sourly, and uh, kitchen bouquet. And uh, gonna take one for about one hour. Wow, that looks amazing, doesn't it? The smell is fantastic. This is going to be egg buffet. I saw it here with the white one, uh, lobster tail, and uh, scallop. Uh, got a big sheet in here, and uh, got a soap serve on a bed bowl. Wow. So she, wow. she hollows that yeah, bowl out, bowl. and then she pours the etouffee in it, so you eat it right out of the bowl. We're going to put it in. This is paella. This is a paella. Paella right now is yellow rice, have a cordon on it, sweet sausage, hot sausage, uh, clam, mussel, and uh, yellow rice, moon crab, and uh, shrimp. Again, it looks absolutely amazing. Let's move down the line a little bit and uh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Right here we have a uh, seafood, seafood medley. Just like uh, back and salmon. We have back and shrimp. We have uh, uh, sushi crab. We have onion and pepper. And we serve with the yellow rice. And it comes with the uh, uh, salmon. And it comes with the shrimp. Thank you. So Ruth, I think this is the world's largest crab cake. I've never seen one bigger, Rob. <laughs> we have to sample it. I think we should. On September 10, 2017, Hurricane Irma unleashed her fury and powerful winds on southwest Florida, leaving many homeowners in a state of dismay. I was one of them. Days turned into weeks and that turned into months. Among the maze of promising roof contractors and so-called experts, one company stood out, ACC Mastercraft. And I want you to do me a favor. Folks, contact them. They're on Trade Center Way. They are unbelievable. They do two things that I was blown away by. One. They believe in service, and two, they believe in helping you. Can you imagine that? It's true. Contact them. It's the best thing you can possibly do for yourself. And when you do, I want you to call me and let me know how you make up because they're unbelievable. Seriously. I'm here with Francis J. Cuomo. He's the owner of Jerome's Gourmet Market. And Francis, every time I come in here, it's just bustling with activity. I oh, love it. Thank God. Yeah. That's why we're here. <laughs> we're here to feed people. How many people do you get on a daily basis? Well, it depends. You know, certain times of the year, like now, we average around 3,000 people a day on a Saturday and a Friday. Uh, Sundays, we close a little early at 6, and we average around 15 to 1,800 people a day on a Saturday. So it's, uh, it just keeps growing. And people the restaurant yesterday, uh, oh, about 1,100 people. Really? In the restaurant Wonderful. alone. Wonderful. That's not including that. Well, so you know, you've you got that magic going for here. Yeah. You know, you really do. It's the sight, the sound, the aroma, everything that uh, yes. you're so well known for. I give God the credit. He <laughs> gave me the energy and the foresight. So, folks, if you really want to have a gourmet experience, you want to come to the Roma's Gourmet Market in Benita Springs in this little Italy right here in... Southwest Florida. Southwest Florida. Our own creation. At the Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant, they do things differently. They do it the authentic way. For example, why is their fresh homemade mozzarella the best you've ever tasted? Well, take a look at this. Well, it's because it's made slowly and lovingly, the way it's been produced for generations. It's the same with their incredible custom blended Duromo wines. They go hand in hand. The art is in the pairing, like everything else thoughtfully prepared at Duromo's Gourmet Market and Restaurant. It's Little Italy at the Promenade in Benita Springs. So Ruth, talk about eye-popping delicious. So you take a look at this stuff, huh? This, this is beautiful. Now, 
This is crawfish, right? Yes, it's crawfish. It's steamed crawfish. Yeah, and and do you put it, what do you put into it? Nothing. Uh, we add butter to it. If you like butter, we drizzle it with butter. Oh. If the, if the customers want it, we drizzle it with butter. So they're naturally sweet. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have over here? We have um, snow... Crab. Yep, snow crab legs. Okay. Um, and again, they're steamed, and we will. Uh, you get a half a pound of snow crab legs with um, potatoes and corn on the cob, twenty-five dollars. Wow. So yeah, that you're getting a good meal. He's two people, so always come up as a couple. What is, what is the name of this company? It's Cadillac and Bailey Commissaries. How do you eat a crawfish? It's like a little lobster, Rob. You just yep. you just break it apart. Pop the head off. And suck it out, huh? Yep. the pull and eat shrimp and we have um, lobster tails and it also the lobster tail you get corn on the cob and two or three potatoes that's $25 and we get pull and eat shrimp you get a mound of it for $20 and you also get a corn with that so this is the bacon wrap scallops and we have tons of people to come diving for this we sold out yesterday that we all had to wrap scallops wow. we completely sold out now, so is this just the scallops wrapped with bacon or yes. is it, is it with any kind of no, it's just a scallop wrapped in bacon with a little bit of a teriyaki sauce and butter. You ready? One, two, three. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let me there. Yeah. I can see why you sold out. Oh. <laughs> and the seafood uh, festival would not be worth its salt if I could use that terminology unless we ate some gator, right? That's right. And this looks fabulous. This is gator. Look at this. Thank you, sir. Okay. Are you game for it? I'm game for it. Okay. All right, I'm going to go for the gator first. Yeah, definitely have to. Good. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Why <are> you <laughs> now, Ruth, the history of this uh, seafood festival goes back quite a ways, doesn't it? It does. This started in 1970, and they've done it every year since. And it's sponsored by the Bereavement Association of Everglades City, and it's their annual fundraiser. And all of the money that's raised goes to local charities and, uh, you know, need, need to fund in Everglades City. And after Hurricane Irma, it's really been a necessity oh. this year. And so, Ruth, when you think about uh, the Hurricane Irma that came through, what, about uh, September of last year? Yeah. This place was actually six feet underwater. It was. Many parts of it, right? Yeah, a lot of devastation here. So you can imagine what they've done to be able to get it back to this point. You know, kudos to them. No question about it. I agree. All right. Fantastic job. And it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. So there'll be more of Robin Roos coming up on other episodes. <laughs>